Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to create another component in React.js. This is going to be a model. Model is an important component for our next component that we are going to create, which is the light box. So light box is a combination of model plus uh, uh, carousal or slideshow. That's why we are creating the model first. And then in the next video, we'll combine the slideshow with the model to create a light box. So as if you are aware, model is a pop up that is used to provide details for any components. Whenever when we click on or provide certain CTA to any, uh, you know, component on the screen, let's say a button or an image. When we click on that, a pop up will appear that will emphasize the details of the component so that it can be read and it can be closed. There is also a backdrop which is if we click anywhere outside the modal the modal should hide and it should appear when we click on the cta or the button that will trigger its rendering so we are going to create a simple model with minor features along with the animation to show that the model is sliding from the top and it is appearing so let's get started here i am creating the modal component this will accept the flag that it is being shown or not and on close event because it will be a control component so when the modal closes we have to trigger this on close that will update the state in the parent component then the title and the children so children for the model and the title now here we are going to return if so that means if we have to show the model, then we are going to render the component. So let's wrap that and then inside this, this will have the name as model wrapper. And inside this, we are going to have model header and model body. You can also have the model footer if you want. You can extend the component as as ever you require it so i'm going to have model header and then model body in the model body i'm going to render the children as it is so a model does not affect the styling of the children. The children can be a separate component which can have their own state, their own style and it can be passed to the model body. It will be rendered as it is. Inside the header, we are going to have the title. So model title that will render the title. And then we'll have a close button let's say a span class name model close and then we are going to have the x button that will close on click of it we have to call the on close that we have received as a prop now let's render this model and style it a little bit so model so equals to true because it will accept a children so let's pass h1 runners bucket and then here we are going to have the title as model so let's style our model in the model wrapper. This is going to be a position fixed because the model appears anywhere on the viewport. So we are going to have it position fixed. We'll have a certain width to the model, which is let's say maximum width of 500 pixel. We are going to have a padding of let's say five pixel around this. Then the box shadow will have 0 pixel, 3 pixel, 3 pixel, half, oh, oh, oh. so 
a box shadow appears let's uh, make it rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0.2 and then we can extend this as 6 pixel so the drop will be little more let's increase the padding to 10 pixel we have set the max width as 5 pixel and width as 100 percent now we have to align the model in the center so what we are going to do is we are going to set the left as 0 sorry 50 percent and the top also as 50 percent now to align a fixed position element to the center we have to set the top and left to the 50 percent and then we can transform it and translate so translate x and y separately or because we are using both top and left so i'm going to use a simple translate property and this will put it into the center so right now our model is in center to the viewport and then let's align the model header so in the model header we are going to have display flex align items center and justify content space between so model and the close button has been separated to the extreme ends and now the model close we are going to set a width of 30 pixel height of 30 pixel border radius 50 percent and then background color as sky blue and line height as 30 pixel so that the x comes into the center 32 pixel it comes in extreme center and then we can increase the font size 1.2 m so it becomes a little bit bolder and we'll have the cursor as pointer so our model is ready let's create a state in the parent and a button to hide and show the model so const show set show equals to u state false and then we have to import the u state so import u state from react and here we will pass the show and before this we will have a button on click of it we are going to set show as true and this will be a function that will return it and here in the button we'll say if show then have the text hide otherwise have the text show and then model now if i click on this you see the model is visible now if i click on this close the model should hide so it's not happening because we haven't pro passed the props on close so on close we are going to pass a function that will set show as false so now if i come back and if i click on this close you see that model is hidden and the state is updated in the parent so if i close this the button text updates to show model now our model is being generated the edge case over here is if we click anywhere outside the model should hide so we have we need to have a backdrop so for that there are two ways the complex way is you can listen to the event and then you can check if the target is modal or not and then you can hide in the use effect another simplest way is we just have a wrapper because this is a fixed position element so what we'll do is we'll have a wrapper a div that will be behind this model we can uh, uh, update the z index of that 
and let's say model backdrop we can have and on click of this we are just going to on close and now let's style this model backdrop so what we are going to do is we are going to set it as position fixed width 100 vw whatever the viewport is height is 100 vh then top is 0 left is 0 and background is rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 0.2 now if you see the overlay is this backdrop is the overlay that is above the model so for the model what we are going to do is we are going to increase the z index and we are going to set as 99999 and for the backdrop we are going to set the z index as minus 1 so now you see that this button has become visible because we have set as minus 1. If I set it as 0, it, the backdrop has come above the model, but it is above this uh, uh, pop-up also. So above the button as well as above the pop-up. So we have to fix that. It should be uh, below the model. So we have this wrapper. Let's save this. Now if I reload, so model is there. Now if I click anywhere, see. It is being hide but if I click anywhere on the model it is not hiding so one change just to highlight that the model is above the uh, this uh, backdrop we have to set the background color as at FFF. so the model will be highlighted now if I click on the close it is being hidden and if I click anywhere outside the model so if I click on model it's not hiding but if I click anywhere outside the model it is being hidden. Now the final thing we can do is we can add a animation effect so that it, it, it feels like that the model is uh, appearing from somewhere so right now it's static right it simply just appears on the screen let's add an animation to this so for animation what we are going to do is we are going to add an active class to the model wrapper and then active and here we will add an animation animation name slide and then animation duration as 0.5 second and let's create the slide at the red keyframes slide from so we are going to just update the transform property as you can see right here in the translate we are having the x as minus 50 and y as minus 50 so y represents that uh, we are on the y axis which is vertically and x represents horizontally so here I'm just going to change the translate the x remains it at its position and but uh, for the y axis we are going to translate from 200% to 50% so copy this and again it will be at the stable position at what we have set on the line number 14 so it will just come from the top it will look like that it's sliding from the top Let's save this and then here in the code uh, under the model wrapper what we are going to do is we are going to set if so then add an active class otherwise add nothing. So that's what we are going to see. See at the moment the class is added you see the sliding effect right now if I am hiding this and if I click on show model you see that it is sliding from the top. So you can have any type of animation you want but uh, just to show right how to add an animation I have created this. Now you can adjust the timing as well. So right now it is a little bit slow if I change this to 0 0.3 per second it will be coming faster. And now our model is 
ready so if i click anywhere on the model nothing will happen if i click outside that the model will hide because we are clicking on the backdrop and similarly on the close button also it is hiding you can also add the event for the escape button you can have all the accessibilities for the component but this is how you can create a simple model i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time